Danzig with Mother. This is a CBT guitar le guitar lesson for Corey. And um, let's jump right in, Corey. This is standard tuning. Classic song, man. I've always loved it. Even the. <laughs> Just great song, well written. 215 is where the solo starts. There's uh, two solos. And uh, let's jump into breaking this thing down. It's using different pentatonic minor patterns through here. Starting on 7E, pull off to 5, back to 7. Okay, 5A. We're going to upstroke that. 7, pull 5A. 7, slide to 9. So that gives you. Seven nine D pull seven and then nine A subgrouping. I know you've heard me talk about that. You, we could take those last uh, four notes and go. You know, just work until you get used to it. That'd be another one. Connect. 7G up, 9 pull 7, 9 pull 7 on the D. 9G bend, hold, release, pull off to 7. So you have. Okay, do another one. Another one, no pull off. With a 9D vibrato rest. Here's that first run. Go 7B, hammer 10. Upstroke uh, the 7 on the high E, back to 10B. Bend, hold, release. That's about how fast it is. 7B, 10E, bend, release, pull to 7. 10B twice. Real heavy, uh, it's like a vibrato mixed with a bend. Just like that type of vibe. Alright, from there, 223 is our next timestamp. 14G, I'd go middle finger on this, slide to 16. And then 15, 17 on the B, bend. Okay, short rest there. As you're bending it, add the 17 E. So it's, I'm holding the bend, I'm gonna pick the 17 B, the E. Okay, I'm done. Now I'm gonna hit them both, bend, release, pull to 15 B. And then go. 17, 15, and then 16 G. So you have. You can experiment with finger, fingering on that. Whatever you're feeling, but definitely subgroup that stuff. Um, 19th fret on the B. Um, I know that's up there. And the E. And then 22 E whole step bend. That's a one fret or a two fret bend. It's one step. Another one with vibrato, and that's it for the first solo. So, okay, if you move up in the same video to two minutes and 54 seconds, you'll hear the start of the second solo, and it's 9G bend, and then 7B and E together, and then not do it again, but add the 7B with the 9G. And then the 7 E and B. So this is what it sounds like. Okay, the 9 7 G B again. And then the 7 B by itself. So that's. And then 9 7 G B. Then the 9 again. And then the 7 B. So that's done twice, right? So we have. And then 9 G and B. We're going to flatten our third finger over that, back it with the middle and index. A lot of blues players will use this, and it's tough if you haven't ever done it. It takes a while to get used to. You're going to bend, release, hold, 
or bend, hold, release, pull off to seven. Sounds like this. You gotta snap to make sure your pull off rings. Nines pull to sevens. And then 9D, 7GB. Again. Sounds like this. 9G, bend, release, pull to seven. 9D, vibrato, rest, slide. Okay, so that gives you. Or, Five E hammer to seven. Five A to seven slide nine. So seven hammer nine pull seven on the D. And then nine A. Seven hammer nine D. Seven G hammer nine. So it's oops. So, 7B, hammer 10, pull 7, 9G, 7B and E, and then 10B, up, down, bend, hold, release, 107B, 10, 10E, bend, pick, release, on the B though. Sounds really cool when he does that because he kind of grabs both. You'll hear this uh, when he grabs that 10B. You're still hearing the 10 off the high E ring. You almost can't avoid it. It just has a growl sound. It's really cool. Seven 10 on the B bend release, and then 10E. Top of page three. Twelfth fret E and B, bend release. We're gonna back that again. Actually, two more times. Then twelve E bend release pull ten. Twelve B rest. Ten twelve E B slide. So that's three oh six timestamp. Twelve B. And then, uh, wait, over here. 10 E. Four, this is one of my favorite riffs here. 14 pull 10. And then 12 10 B E. Sounds like this. And then 12 pull 10 E. 12 B. Sounds like. 10 on the E. Hammer 14 pull 10. Hammer 12 pull 10. Let's try all that. Twelve B to ten E, hammer fourteen, pull ten. Two times of that, so it's so we have or and then twelve B, and then this is all hammer pulls on the E. Ten, twelve, ten, twelve, ten, fourteen. Um, 10, 12, 10. So it's. Okay, so. 15B, slide to 17. 14, 17E, pull 14. 17, 14BE. So it's. Seventeen B bend, pick the seventeen E, keep the bend, hit seventeen B, done. Hit them both, bend the B again. Seventeen B, and again with the bend on both, or strum of both, pick just the B string. So you have. Fourteen seventeen E pull fourteen seventeen fourteen B E seventeen B pinch harmonics kind of hard to get 
and you're going to bend, hold, release. 312 timestamp, 17B, pull 15, and then 16G. No, 17, bend, release, pull to 15, and then 17, pull 15, and then on the G goes 16, 14, hammer 16, pull 14, and then 16D. Or you can take it from the pull off on the 17B. We have 14 hammer 16G, 15 hammer 17 pull 15B, 16G, 15 hammer 17 on the B and the E, and pull 15, and then 17 15 B E. So we have from the 312. Three fifteen time stamp nineteen D. It's way up here, man. Slide to twenty one and then go up, down, up. It's just a fast thing. It's hard to hear the uh, the preciseness of it, I guess. But nineteen hammer twenty one pull nineteen on the G. So you have twenty one D nineteen hammer twenty one G. 19, hammer 22, pull 19B, 21G, 19BE, 22B twice, bend. So watch, you got this. It's hard to get up there. Well, I got 22 frets. If you got 24 frets, it's going to be a little easier. You'll have more cutout space probably too. Um, but that 22 just hangs out at the end there. So, um, All right, Corey. That was fun. And I know you got a, another one for me coming up next month, I believe. But I will get this ready for you. And thanks, man.